This is Ox on Fox Sports Extra. Here's Albie Oxenreiter. Good evening. Nine years is a long time, and as we leave tonight, I wanted to leave you with some of my best memories on a very memorable run at Fox 53. Since 1997, among other things, I traveled with the Steelers to Dublin, Ireland. We produced nightly reports and then a half hour special on the American Bowl between the Steelers and Bears. And what a time we had there with photographer Mike Neely. That special was one of close to 30 Steelers specials I hosted. This was another on the occasion of the Steelers 1000th game. There I am with Terry Bradshaw. I also had the pleasure of hosting the Bill Cower show for two seasons. That adds up to almost 35 shows sitting beside Coach William Laird Cower. Of course, I had a unique perspective of Mario Lemieux's great career. I also got to cover both Yarmir Yager and Sidney Crosby. And I got to play golf with a legend. That's right, golf with Arnold Palmer. Imagine a guy with such a high handicap teeing it up with the king. How many people can say that? I also said goodbye to Three River Stadium and covered the openings of both Heinz Field and PNC Park. And last Labor Day, I got to throw out the first pitch at the Pirates-Cubs game. And speaking of the Pirates, way back when, when we started the 10 o'clock news, nine years ago yesterday, right here on Fox 53, I had some fun shooting a promo with the Pirates' former manager, Jim Leland. Hi, I'm Jim Leland. Hi, I'm Albie Oxenreiter. For the best sports in Pittsburgh. It's the Ox. I'm Fox. Thanks, Albie. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> what do you think of the imitation? No good? Good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Leland. And when our old buddy Kurt Angle returned to Pittsburgh for the first time with the World Wrestling Federation, we poked some fun with Kurt, our former colleague, who had just entered the world of entertainment. I want to put on a good show for them, and hopefully in the long run these people will say, you know what, Kurt Angle did the right thing. You're jumping into a profession that a lot of people consider to be a, a farce, a fake. Does that bother you? Uh, it does a little bit. It looks like it does. I mean, you don't want to be associated with something that's a fake, do you? You know, I'm tired of hearing how people have this concept of wrestling being fake, that it's scripted, that we sit here and we sit down and choreograph matches now, and Kurt, stuff. It's I a, mean, it's a legitimate question, Kurt. Well, if you're going to ask me a question, ask me a question. Don't, don't ask me something completely stupid like that. Come I'm on, tired man. of hearing this crap, this Come on, Kurt. And you. Don't ever try that again, Kurt. Don't ever try that again. And on the fifth anniversary of the attack on Nancy Kerrigan, we recreated the moment, a low moment, with our old co-worker Ray Penkoski playing the role of the attacker. <laughs> that was Ray Penkoski disposing of the weapon and off into the night he went. And as we go off God. into the night, I want to say thank you to uh, all the people behind the <laughs> scenes. Uh, I was here on opening night nine years ago. A few of us are left upstairs as well in the control room. I don't want to name one because I, then I have to name them all and That's I'm right. afraid I've missed somebody. Just like an Oscar speech. And, and you and, and the rest of the crew have been so professional over the last couple of weeks. And I want thank to say you. what a pleasure it is to, to work we, so long you with made you. made us laugh. And we'll, we'll say our goodbyes in a moment. Okay. We'll be back with that. Stay with us. <laughs> Well, this is it. For nine years, you've welcomed us into your home every night at 10 o'clock. And tonight, we're saying farewell one final time. And I would like to personally thank the producers, assignment editors, associate producers, directors, photographers, reporters, editors, TDs, audio operators, did I leave anybody out? Who were so dedicated to putting this newscast on the air. For both Albie and me, this marks a new beginning. You'll see Albie again Monday night when you tune in to the new Fox 53 10 o'clock news. As for me, I plan to start with a little time off to spend with my family before pursuing my next venture, whether it's in television or elsewhere. It has been a great ride and a privilege for me to be welcomed into your home each night to share the news of the day. I knew almost nothing about Pittsburgh when I came to this city back in 1988, and I grew to love it because of you, the people who make Pittsburgh a phenomenal place to live. And everywhere I go, I tell people that. And I've been with the 10 o'clock news since 1998 after following Albie here from our days at WTAE. And Albie, you have been here since the beginning, nine years. I think together, the two of us have worked um, over 15 years together. Almost 16 years of my yeah. 18 years in Pittsburgh, right, right beside you. And, uh, 
As I said, you and the people at this station and the news department have been so professional in extraordinary circumstances. And I think you guys should be given a round of applause because uh, we had a good nine year run here and we can all be proud of what we did. Absolutely, and, and we'll miss it, but we're all looking forward to whatever comes next. And I wish you the best of luck. You'll do well. Please tune in Monday night and see Albie. You'll be doing a 15 minute sportscast at 1045, right? I hope to be doing that Monday night. All right, and you stay in touch Thanks, too. Sheila. All right, and we leave you now with some scenes, uh, behind the scenes of the people who make this newscast possible. Good night. Good night.